all of the good things that I've ever posted about you, you've never liked it. You've never opened a message. You've never responded. You've never thanked me. None of that. And that's fine. Like, I don't need you to personally thank me for all the good things that I've done, for all the ways that I have, in fact, put a lot of people onto your channel. You don't have to thank me for that. That's just something that I do because when I say sis, I mean my sis. That's something that I do for you. That's something that I do for a lot of influencers, big and small. Welcome back to my channel, Motosakas. Hey. My last video stirred up a lot of controversy and I was actually gonna take the last video down. And you know, I asked you guys if you wanted me to take the video down and most of you guys were like, no. Even the people that didn't agree with what I had to say was like, no, don't take the video down. Maybe do a follow-up video. I have no problem doing follow-up videos. I honestly don't even have a problem taking the video down. But shout out to everybody that was like, "Lo, that's how you feel. You said what you said. Keep the video up. So this video is basically going to be a follow-up video from my last video. I'm going to be reading some of you guys' comments. I'll just be, I guess, going more in-depth of where I was coming from when I made that video and a little bit about me and who I am as a person. So, my subscriber count has been going up a lot. And a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of you guys are new to me. A lot of y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know my story. Y'all don't know my background. Y'all don't know me. So it's like y'all seeing the, the few videos that y'all seen and y'all like, oh, this girl is cool. And then you probably saw this video and was like, nah, sis, like what? One thing about the video was I did feel like I was a little bit too New York for my own good. And when I say that, I mean this. All right, y'all see how everybody loves Cardi B? And y'all feel like, oh my god, Cardi B is so real, Cardi B is so real, Cardi B is so real. When I tell y'all like 90% of New Yorkers are like that, like that's really how we are. So when I did the video, I wasn't trying to disrespect you. You know, I do hope she watches this video because she did watch the last one. I was not trying to disrespect you, sis. I really was coming at you like you're my sis. When I say sis, I don't just use it because, oh, that's a cute word, sis, oh, sis. Like, yeah, you're my sis. You don't know me, but you're my sis. Like, and the New York in me, like, if I'm talking to my sis, I'm going to be on some, like, yo, like, are you dumb? Don't do that. But I'm not saying that, like, yo, you're dumb for doing that or you're really, you're really retarded. You're really stupid. I'm not saying it like that. That's just how I express myself. So for that, Patricia, I will apologize for expressing myself in a manner that came off very aggressive, very disrespectful to you. Now, what I said, I still agree with what I said. I still, as far as, you know, I, me personally not thinking you needed to tan. At the end of the day, and even at the beginning, from the beginning to the end of the day, anybody can do what they want with their own bodies. What I do on my channel is I voice my opinion, which is why a lot of people like me and why a lot of people hate me. I don't, I don't really care for the pop, like I don't care for the popular opinion vote. I care to make you think and to help you to love yourself. Am I perfect? No. Could I love myself a lot more? Absolutely. But that video was not to disrespect you, Patricia, or any dark skinned woman that has, any dark skinned woman that, dark skinned, light skinned woman that tans her skin because she wants to be even. That was not why I did the video. So, like I said in the video, I came straight off a reaction. So, that video was my first reaction. Now, raw New York first reaction like hold the hell up no like we don't do this we don't need to do this not taking into consideration that you know there's a whole nother part of the world where things climate is different temperature is different weather is different things are different so i'm not thinking of it of it from a perspective like a lot of y'all was saying we don't get sun and that does have an impact on your skin and i tried to put my myself in a position of dang imagine i went years of not getting sun how would that affect my skin right so that's number one i didn't take in consideration my whole purpose of the video was to encourage dark-skinned women to encourage black women being that we are the most ideal beautiful melanin goddesses my like my purpose of the video was to just encourage us and say like yo we are what they like they're trying to be so we don't need to do what they do to be us right that was that was my whole thought process that was my whole point of doing the video so that was the whole purpose of the video don't really know if the video did its purpose because it just got so much negative backlash and like i said i apologize if, if i came off too i'm not gonna say if because when you say if i apologize for coming off too aggressive coming off like really rude disrespectful so i'm gonna read some of the comments and we can have a more in-depth conversation okay so the comments that i'm gonna read first these comments are from the post of me at the beach um and i basically 
basically was like, you know, this is this is me. This is my skin. You know, I have dark knees. I have dark elbows. I have dark marks. My stomach is darker than my body. I can see it already. My chest is um, has more yellow. My face and my neck is darker. And I embrace that. I don't like I wouldn't bleach. I, I said in the video, I said I wouldn't bleach my stomach. I wouldn't lighten myself or, you know, darken myself unnaturally. But that was just me. Right. So I posted this picture of myself at the beach obviously got a nice sun got a nice suntan um and i said thinking about deleting my last upload as someone with dark skin i have darker knees and elbows and no my body isn't completely one color um but i don't think it should be and i don't if i see somebody that's completely one color i'm like oh whoa, whoa, what um but let me just say let me keep reading um however after reading y'all comments i understand that i was a bit insensitive to dark-skinned women who do suffer from discoloration and that was never my intention my intention was to never uh dark skin bash or i don't know what the term would be for that hate all right or clout chase so that wasn't my intention my intention wasn't to dark skin bash it was really to actually encourage dark-skinned women to love your flaws but anywho let's keep reading so okay so someone said um please don't delete please don't delete posts everyone has different opinions and this is yours stand in your truth someone said i am one who suffered with discoloration for years um, from years of eczema all the way into my mid-20s i'm 33 now and to be quite honest i took no offense at all i actually thought it would be a good business idea for us for a few of us highly melanated ladies can you imagine them like, ugh, we can't have anything to ourselves. So basically she's saying like, imagine us taking over the tanning business, right? Okay, so that's someone who actually suffered from a skin condition and she didn't feel any way about it. Um, Someone said, don't delete it. You weren't being too harsh. I think it's a good topic to discuss amongst sisters. So once again, me watching the video back and talking to my friend, I do think I was a little bit too harsh. I was too harsh to people who just don't understand like, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta, I don't know, but like, not to bring Cardi B in this, because she don't got really nothing to do with this, but she's somebody that I can give y'all an example to, that y'all can relate to. Cardi B is somebody that everybody will praise for being real. She can say anything she want to say. Oh, she's real, she's real, she's real. This is how New Yorkers are. This is how we talk. Even if you, you could love someone to death and be like, yo, are you dumb? Like, don't do that. But that's like really how we really are like, to a certain extent of course you know everybody ain't you know everybody but to a certain extent um somebody said yes remove the video that that comment got nine likes so nine so ten of you guys felt like i should remove the video um somebody said i loved your last post and i think i think altogether it had a great message um someone said i don't agree with what you said in that video and felt there were more pressing subjects however i feel like you should be entitled to your own opinion oh honey on youtube you're not entitled to your own opinion you're clout chasing don't delete your video instead make a follow-up video coming as a response to the criticism this will give a journey um, this will give a journey into your thought development on the subject and you can get more money. I'm all for my black girls getting bread. This post alone shows you are really mature. Not only does it show I'm really mature, even though I'm very strong, I'm sensitive as shit. Like, I was crying on the phone talking to my friend because I'm like, yo, like, this is not the message. I'm not trying to, like, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways. Um... Someone said, I'm a recent sub. I think you were respectful and sweet about Patricia. Um, I'm not even going to say her name anymore, actually, because she did accuse me of trying to clout chase. So I'm going to say P. Um, I am a recent sub. I think you were respectful and sweet about P. So no need to delete. You thought it was wasteful and you're entitled to your opinion. I disagreed with you, but still like you. People need to learn that we can have differences of opinions without there being a problem or somebody needing to be trolled or canceled. Just my two cents. That's a fact. Because honestly, I didn't think that in this video she would take it as me. Because I think she, what did she comment? She said something like, um, oh, it be your own. Like, like I'm um, doing something like against her or something like that. So I didn't think she would take it as me doing something that's like totally oh my god you supposed to be nigerian my nigerian sister but my friend did mention maybe because you mentioned her husband you know being what and i'm like but he is though okay let me just continue someone said don't delete it some of us black women need to develop a tougher skin other black women are allowed to criticize us 
it's mindless vanity and should be called out but yeah this made me like yo pull your hair back girl no makeup like what i'm not yo y'all i love makeup i love weeds i love wigs i have no problem coming on here bare with y'all like i don't have no problem doing this at all honestly i use makeup to inspire like y'all be, be like yes i love your eyeshadow how do you do that how do you do this i use that to inspire but i have no problem someone said i'm light skin i got discoloration too and stretch marks don't delete your video girl someone said keep it sis i have discoloration and that's the beauty of my melanin uh, melanin is imperfect and that's why it's so beautiful what about people having vitiligo they have discoloration but they're beautiful too absolutely someone said i don't believe you should delete the video however i believe you should make a video about it so other people can get a better understanding of where you're coming from and how you see your point of view and how you see our point of view okay so that's what i'm doing now someone said don't be too hard on yourself iloho it's the only way we can understand each other is to share our opinions so we can get a true picture of everybody's struggle so we can empathize and really understand each other i'm talking from your light-skinned black people to your chocolatey chocolatey beautiful people and to your deep dark gorgeous tone people you are stunning by the way thank you Catherine. that was very nice of you um somebody said i'm fenty 410 and i've gotten spray tans before beach vacations the lady i go to uses the darkest spray tan typically uses a bodybuilder types and then she customizes it by adding cinnamon and gold Ooh, it evens out my skin tone and gives me a gorgeous glow it does sound gorgeous we don't all have even skin tones and telling another person that they shouldn't tan because they're dark sounds like the people asking my dark skin sisters why why they want to wear foundation the answer because they do to each their own self tanners that cater to dark skin tones is typically it's actually a niche in the market not being met if someone wanted to tap into that someone said no tanning boots needed hair honey you're truly gorgeous thank you someone said i watched your video before i even watched peas and i just felt like you were looking for something to be mad at i wasn't um peas video was harmless and she became more brown so i don't see what you were upset at or what you were calling her out for but that's just me about the whole thing so i don't want y'all to mistake i don't want y'all to mistake my passion and my energy for me being upset like okay let's let me just give y'all the mix i'm from brooklyn i'm very much a brooklynite i'm nigerian african parents do y'all know about nigerian parents oh yeah learn about it last but not least i'm a pisces okay so my energy I, I i believe that i have more energy than the average person i do god bless me with a burst of like girl burst of magic that's what i call it a burst of magic he blessed me with a burst of magic i don't want y'all to mistake me being upset with just like my my all you know all of my characteristics like i'm not upset at her i didn't up unsubscribe to her i did like i'm not like f you p f you because you really out here spray tan and f you like that's when i'm mad if i'm just like you're canceled i don't f with you how dare you i didn't do none of that in that video now was i hype yes that's my personality like that i cannot help how hype i get now what i could have done was maybe waited a couple hours <laughs> maybe calm down a little bit but i can't help my natural reaction i can't help my energy like if i did if i just sat in my videos and was like you don't even need that like you know it's so like you know i know you want to even your skin tone but you're, you're so perfectly dark skin like i feel like if i came on here like that y'all wouldn't be saying that i was mad and that i was upset but because i'm like you know very like confident and bold in what i'm saying it comes off as dang you a hater it's not i'm just energetic <laughs> i do not hate patricia and i made that sorry i do not hate p and i made that very clear in the video like i made that very clear i don't hate her she's beautiful she's gorgeous i even said that she has a channel that i aspire to have one day aka she's pretty much like a role model right but i don't i don't have to agree and this is where a lot of y'all get life fucked up is when y'all expect people to agree with everything a person does or says i don't expect y'all to agree with everything that i do and i say if you notice even when people disagree with me if i feel like dang you know that's valid like you have a good point i will like the comment i will love the comment i will comment back like okay i see your point or you know i don't disagree but thank you for commenting thank you for taking the time out to watch my video and you know you know taking a consideration into your head and being like hmm, i see what you're coming from but i don't agree like i don't expect y'all to kiss my ass i don't expect y'all to 100 love everything that i do and everything about
about me because I'm human at the end of the day. The same way y'all are human, I'm human too. I make mistakes. I have to learn. I have to live. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm trying to say? Y'all feel me on a spiritual level right now? Okay, so yeah, this is what I do want to um address as well. To dog spray tanning while wearing a full face of makeup and nails to enhance your god-given features but p can do the same hypocrite shaking my head okay how can i say this in a nice way possible please hear me again because i'm not going to make a response to the response video <laughs> because i wear makeup because i wear wigs because i get my nails done that does not mean okay that i have to agree with plastic surgery it doesn't mean that i have to agree with spray tans it doesn't mean that i have to agree with anything that is considered not natural do you understand what i'm saying just because i wear makeup it does not mean that i have to be pro anything that is not natural let me say this one more time for the people in the back because somebody's gonna um watch the title of this video somebody's gonna look at the thumbnail and just decide to comment without even watching so please watch this video play this twice if you have to just because i wear makeup does not mean that I have to be pro anything that is not natural and that's the problem people want to say people like to say oh well you do this so you can't speak so because I wear wigs I can't say nah dang you know you shouldn't get your lips done you should just like chill and like rock your natural lips so because I wear weaves and makeup I can no longer I might as well throw my life away. I cannot have an opinion about nothing. I am not allowed to feel strongly about something. I'm not allowed to disagree with anybody because I wear wigs and makeup. So therefore, I, I should just shut my YouTube channel down now because I wear wigs and makeup. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard. <laughs> like everybody runs to that. Everybody runs to that. Well, you wear weave. Well, you wear makeup. Now I'm not. So now, so can I speak now? Is my point is my point more valid now? Make it make sense. Like, people get on my nerves with that because it's like, damn, like, well, what's the point of even having a channel? If y'all really feel like I can't say shit because I wore makeup? Because I wear weave and wig? Like, what? Yeah, that, that point really did get me upset because I'm like, y'all use that for everything. Like, y'all use that for everything. Every single thing is, well, you wear weave and makeup. Okay, someone said, I spray tan. I have hyperpigmentation. It evens me out. Been doing it for years. She's not the first so i want to say thank you to everyone that just you know educated me in a you know respectful manner thank you for educating me on this i personally never knew black people to spray tan so it's been a whole world happening that i just didn't know about um so yeah thank you for educating me in a respectful manner um someone said she's a grown-ass woman she can do what she wants relax sis you're absolutely right tia you're absolutely right and i too a grown-ass woman who can do whatever the fuck she wants thanks Someone said, girl, keep the video up. The fact that she, the fact that P came here to comment means it connected with her. The video has less than 10K views at the moment and she found it. Where is the clout chase? Now this is going to be a whole nother section of the video. Clout chasing. Clout chasing. I feel like clout like just the word i hate the word clout i hate it i hate the word clout i hate the word clout chasing but um let me just finish reading the comment um they said where is the clout chase i don't see this as trying to get clout we have love for you you don't need and never have clout chased because when she called me a clout chaser like and i wasn't even gonna put this in here but i really did i really felt hurt like i really felt hurt because i'm like First of all, first of all, I've been bigging you up for years. People ask me questions and I know that I don't have the video to answer them. I share you, sis. I've been sharing you, posting you, and admiring you for years. All of the good things that I've ever posted about you, you've never liked it. You've never opened a message. You've never responded. You've never thanked me. None of that. And that's fine. Like, I don't need you to personally thank me for all the good things that I've done, for all the ways that I have, in fact, put a lot of people onto your channel. You don't have to thank me for that. That's just something that I do because when I say sis, I mean my sis. That's something that I do for you. That's something that I do for a lot of influencers, big and small. But the fact that I made a video that, that doesn't necessarily agree with what you did, which granted, it's your body, it's your money, you can do whatever you wanna do. But it's very interesting to me that the video 
the one thing that you decide to comment on is the one thing where I'm not necessarily agreeing with you and then you call me a clout chaser and then you say good luck on your journey to 100k um what did she say good luck on your journey to 100k um you know basically like don't try to break people down in the process or something like that that means you don't know me from a can of paint and that's fine you don't know me from a can of paint if you could say to me you know i'm cow chasing go up on my journey like sarcastically and you know you're trying to bring people down you don't know me from a can of paint because anybody that knows iloho that's not me at all sis at all that's not me at all at all 100% let's talk about clout chasing for a second okay so yes I did use her name in the video in the video title because the video was about you so I mean like you can look at any of my videos where I'm talking about Jeannie Mai or I'm talking about Gina Rodriguez or I'm talking about this person that person because I do a lot of opinionated videos right so you can go to any of my videos and see that yes oftentimes in my titles I will put your name in the title if I'm talking about you the point of the title is to get people to get people to instantly know what this video is about okay I did a lot of writing in school the titles are to catch you in and get you to know what I'm talking about if you're interested you'll watch it if you're not you won't now in this video in no way shape so clout chasing right so i had to look up this term because this is something that people use a lot like um and it says power fame money style etc so i'm clout chasing so i'm doing this video for so in your opinion i'm doing this video for power fame money and style that's none of the above absolutely none of the above the point of the video was to inspire and encourage dark skinned women to love their their discoloration. Sometimes, yes, maybe you're going out, you want to look even, you want to cover things up. Sometimes you don't. And if you don't, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with you if you don't want to cover up your discoloration. That's That was my whole point. That was my whole point. Let me read this again. Uh, as this person said, the video has less than 10k views at the moment when she from the time that i that i did that video to the time that she commented i kid y'all not for the past because let me let me get into some real shit so for the past week in fact let me say for the past two weeks i've been gaining subscribers like y'all have been finding my videos y'all like my content y'all been here y'all been commenting i see things i read things i engage with y'all and i continue to give y'all videos that y'all like i continue to inspire i continue to motivate i continue to talk my shit and that's what y'all like so from from that time the past week or two weeks i've been gaining subscribers like crazy like i remember i posted 25k celebrating my 25k i was about to do a giveaway for 25k the next day i woke up i had 26k the next day i woke up i had 27k so it's not it, it has like okay and then i say that to say so then i posted this video i posted this video from the time that i posted it to the time that you wrote me i gained about 10 to 15 subscribers okay i gained about 10 to 15 subscribers and i highly doubt it was because of that video because a lot of people disagreed with that video which means I would have actually lost subscribers at this very moment right now at this very moment right now it says my video has been up for 15 hours and has 6.5 K views okay that's 15 hours there's 24 hours in a day I have another video that has been up for 24 hours and has 16 K video 16 K views y'all can look at my views for yourself first of all my views don't even add up to my subscribership <laughs> like so you know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to get the people that's viewing to actually subscribe clout chasing where where is the clout chases yeah cuz she said using my name for clout enjoy the extra views i've actually got a lot less views than all my other shit i can take this shit down right now like this shit not giving me no views i'm just trying to spread a message sis that shit got me no views i really want you to understand that now from this follow-up video from my posts from other people maybe talking about it maybe in the future it might gain more but as of right now this video did not do jack goddamn diddly squat 
and that's why I apologize for my energy. The energy that I gave off could seem very like aggressive and very gully and very like I'm mad, but I'm not mad. I'm just really passionate. I'm just a passionate person. Like I passionately love people. I passionately care about people. I will passionately correct you if I feel like you're wrong. And I expect people to passionately correct me when they feel like I'm wrong. But at the end of the day, we're never gonna all agree on everything. So the most that we could do is just respectfully disagree. So that's pretty much all that I have to say about this. And, um, shout out to all the dark skin girls who got dark knees and dark elbows. Ain't shit wrong with that. Okay, yo, I am done. Yes, I am on the journey to 100k sub freaking subscribers. I truly love doing this, guys. I love talking to y'all. I love sharing with y'all. If you are down for the cause, okay, if you love my content, if you're interested in my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be even more lit in our own lane. Hmm, that's a good line. Lit in my own lane. Litty love. But let me know what other content you want to see on my amazing, melanated, lovely, beautiful, natural channel. And until next time, I am Iloho. Bye.